The next one around the tech part of it is on AMP. Uh, this is where we've seen, a we've done a lot of experiments with our publishers, working very closely with them. And we've seen a significant increase in traffic through AMP. Uh, AMP was uh, released early, I mean, late 2015, early 2016, uh, sometime back then. And a lot of publishers have been adopting AMP. I mean, initially they were reluctant, saying that, okay, this is going to be, um, again, a a uh, walled garden from Google, but it seems to be that um, a lot of traffic is actually coming in through AMP and AMP accelerated mobile pages are extremely fast in loading your content. Most of our publishers, if you'd like to benchmark yourself, most of our large publishers, and this is a segment of publishers, um, get anywhere between 30 to 40% of their traffic from uh, on AMP pages itself, right? Uh, it varies again, smaller publishers may get lesser, larger publishers, some of the larger publishers get over 40% traffic on AMP, but this is something that you should be striving to get at least about 30% of your traffic um, on accelerated mobile pages. Um, and this goes hand in hand with SEO, it goes hand in hand with what keywords you want to rank up on the site. Um, and that's basically what we've seen um, works pretty well for a lot of publishers. So two experiments that we ran, the images on the left that you see, the very first one, <coughs> we worked with a small regional publisher who was under 1 million page views uh, at the beginning of the year. And what we built for them, uh, and this is something that's available on the Quintai platform for all our publishers now, is you have the ability to have site-wide AMP, uh, which we call an AMP first site, right? So or if you toggle this um, feature, by default, all your traffic, which comes on mobile, will be served the AMP page instead of your actual page, instead of your responsive page. Um, and this has helped significantly because your AMP pages given that they are very restrictive in terms of um, what you made, the size of images and defining the images, the kind of ads, you can't use push down ads or interstitials and all of that, that starts affecting your page speed. And pages are super fast, are extremely fast uh, to be rendered on uh, most screens. And we've seen just by toggling to AMP page, and this is a publisher that's even now continuing to serve all their mobile traffic on AMP, right? Uh, and they have seen their traffic grow about 3x both in terms of uh, absolute page views as well as engagement. Uh, even the time on site, uh, average session duration, all of that has gone up significantly after defaulting uh, on to AMP pages itself rather than, uh, story, uh, rather than serving responsive web uh, for most of the users. So this was one of the experiments we ran. Uh, before I move on to the other one, we are even seeing publishers push a little more on this and saying, why not make the entire site AMP itself. Why not make your home page, section page, all your landing pages, author page, tag pages, all of them um, served as AMP and AMP does support that right now. So these are also something that we're working with our publishers. I don't have data to share with you right now, but uh, maybe sometime in the future we will share about a, a si entire site as AMP. So if your users are coming on mobile, you they probably see a completely AMP enabled site rather than your responsive web. Um, the second one um, is a fairly mid-sized, large-sized publisher um, who's, again, a regional publisher that we work with. And one issue that most publishers had with AMP, at least earlier on this year, was while they see a lot of traffic in AMP, they got a lot of bounce rate, very, very high bounce rates in AMP, uh, upwards of about 90% in terms of bounce rate in AMP. And the reason for that was there was no infinite scroll. I mean, it was a half-baked implementation of uh, a hacky way of doing infinite scroll earlier in AMP. And since AMP has had this version uh, earlier this year, and we've got a library, we've got an AMP library that we share with all of our publishers to start implementing um, infinite scroll, related stories, make sure the engagement is going much higher. We've seen just through that, just through uh, implementation of infinite scroll and related stories, a 2x growth in AMP traffic itself um, and their overall traffic as well. So these are uh, these are small experiments that we've been working with publishers to do. These are things that uh, we've seen. So take away from this slide, do not shy away from AMP. I think it is here to stay and it's going to bring you a lot more traffic, uh, much, much faster to your audience as well. So figure out what you can do, what, um, what experiment you would want to run with AMP and how you can deliver your content through AMP. And of course, uh, a lot of new innovation coming on AMP, which is the visual stories, even for sites which are entertainment heavy, which are pictures heavy. Uh, there are these uh, Instagram story kind of style visual stories on AMP, which is again being featured on Google Discover these days. 
So those are the ones that we would encourage publishers to start trying. And that's where we see a lot more engagement as well.